Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and this edition of Titans All Access with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith. And guess who's here to talk ball with us, presented by Duncan, Coach Dave McGinnis. Coach Mack, welcome. Well, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. All right. Mack, can you believe that we are approaching the last regular season game? And the only thing on the line is the AFC South title, a trip to the playoffs, you know, little stuff. Yeah, well, and that's, that's where we are, so I love it. I love it. Let's go down there and do something really, really big, like win the game. Win the game, go to the playoffs. That's why we're all here, right? Let's do it. So here's the question I've gotten from fans, and as a former NFL assistant and head coach, I want you to answer it for them. That is, they're saying, well, the Titans have extra time off. Why don't you just practice every single day? Why don't you take every moment that you can to get on the field and prepare for this game with Jacksonville? Explain why having a normal week of practice is the right thing to do. Well, first of all, when you look at this roster, the, where they are health-wise, physically, you need as much rest and downtime as you can get. Active recovery, not just laying down resting, active recovery. That's what you need. The next thing you want to do is you do everything in, in rote order when you're getting ready for a ball game. So you don't, you don't really need to, you know this football team, you don't need to do any extra preparation. The main thing is, is your health. And then once you get on schedule with your preparation, everything flows. That's what you want. The extra time, Mike and Amy, is spent on getting your players as healthy as possible at this point in the season. How much does it help that preparation that the Titans saw the Jags just three weeks ago? It, it does a lot. I mean, it really, it, it helps. Anytime you're going to play a division opponent for the second time, you've already got a pretty good book on them. You've got a good book on them from even the year before. But now they're playing a little bit differently because they've got a new head coach. Their quarterback's playing much differently right now. But at least you understand the personnel. You know their personnel. That's the hard thing about playing a team outside of your division or even outside of your conference is you don't know the personnel. It takes you a while to understand and to get people matched up with who they're going to be playing against. We know these people. Do you think the Titans learned anything about the Jaguars in December 11th that maybe they didn't already know and can be useful this coming week? No, absolutely. The first thing is they, you know, you can see it on tape, but until you experience it personally, Trevor Lawrence is a different quarterback. He's a completely different quarterback. He's the engine that makes that thing go. So you understand the level that he's playing at right now. You also understand their defense is now playing really good complimentary ball to the way Trevor Lawrence is running this offense. Those two things really help you. Now you know what your personnel matchups are, but the, the idea that Trevor Lawrence has made such a major jump from last year to this year, you can watch it on tape all you want, but until you experience it personally, you really don't know. Now you know. Derrick Henry rushed for 121 yards in the first matchup against Jacksonville. Do you expect that the Jags are going to approach Derrick Henry a little bit different in this matchup? No, they always approach it the same. Everybody we play approaches in the same. They walk their linebackers up. They, 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 they load the front up. They will, do it, they will do it exactly the same way. They tried last time, you know, to be able to stop him. The thing that stopped the Titans in the first matchup was turnovers. But Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry has run against loaded boxes, it looks like, since he was born. And so now he's going to be running against a loaded box against the Jacksonville Jaguars, too. That's just life. Do you expect the Titans will try to do some things differently against the Jags than they did on December the 11th? Yeah, they will. I mean, the first thing they're going to do is protect the football because that was the big, that was the big mitigating factor in that ball game. The turnovers were, were the ones that crushed the Titans in that first ball game. So ball security, but yes, they'll have some different wrinkles for them just because you've had a chance now to play against this team. You did not win the game against this team, so you'll have some different things for them. Finally, Coach, this is a win and you're in the playoff situation. I'm going to borrow one of your phrases. Is it hard to keep your powder dry when you're getting ready for a game of this magnitude? Well, I mean, uh, let me say this, Amy, and all games in this league have magnitude to them. But now we've come down to this, where this is win and you're in. That means everything. And so your focus should be laser focused all year. But now everything is on this. Uh, you can keep your powder dry, but the excitement level will be up quite a bit.